Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Hadassah Serka. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, December 7th, 2023. Now let's go learn something new with Daniela for Today in History. Thank you, Harasa. Hey, Patriots. Today in History on December 7th, 1979, the first ever movie of Star Trek, the TV series, premiered in North America. The movie was called Star Trek, the motion picture directed by Gene Roddenberry. This is the start of a new movie and series franchise. At the premiere, the producers were accompanied by the cast members of the original series. Today, Star Trek is still continuing with the series. In fact, this year, 2023, was a great year for the series since it has released several new seasons that have resulted with good feedback. Now let's go to lunch with Jasmine. Thank you, Daniela. Today's lunch is cheeseburger, ham and cheese sandwich, tater tots, fresh baby carrots, garden side salad, ranch dressing, sliced peach, and your dressing milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is banana apple muffin trifle, honey nut Cheerios, shrink cheese, fresh orange, and 100% apple juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu can change at any time, and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's get back to Hadassah. Thank you, Jasmine, that sounds delicious. Tomorrow, kindergarten will have their turn at the Patriot store. The store opens at 7.15 and closes at 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Tomorrow, get as cozy as possible while wearing the most comfiest socks ever, and make sure it's festive. Patriots, keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And there is no chewing gum in school. Please throw it out before entering the building. Next Wednesday, December 13th, is our bingo night. Tickets and dinner packages are available. If you purchase tickets early, you can get a free bingo card. It starts at 6 p.m. This will be so epic. Our software challenge ends in 43 days, which is January 19th. This time, your reward will be pizza and popsicle parties. Think of this as a learning experience and get a free pass out of class. Next week, Thursday through Friday, you'll be pumped when you arrive at our fun run with radical games, action, and a PS5. Just make sure your parents sign you up, plus collect donations in order for you to join the party. This event is always so much fun. Do you want to win a Christmas challenge? Well, when you arrive at our ugly sweater party, you can have the chance to win the coziest Christmas champion. Today, 6th and 8th have their NWEA math. And tomorrow, 6th and 8th will have their NWEA reading. Make sure to get some sleep. As you all know, yesterday was our boys soccer team's last game. So Catherine, please tell us how they did. Thank you, Hidasa. Welcome back to Sports Patriots. On Tuesday, our boys soccer team had a game against Aces. Unfortunately, we lost the game 1-8. to eight. The player who performed the best is player number 4, Jeremiah Spadera, for scoring the only goal of the game. Our opponent team was very nice to our soccer boys, and one of them even gave us a very thoughtful message. Um, we would like to say a uh, very special hello to everyone in Renaissance Pembroke Pines. Um, you guys have a great football team, and you guys have great people in your school. Thank you. That was very nice, you yeah. Those are very kind words. In other sports news, here are the details from this week's elementary soccer league. 4v4 games. Game 1. Final score, 4-4. Tied game. Orlando City and Dallas FC. Plays of the game were Aiden and Thor for Dallas. Lucas Paez for Orlando City. Game 2. Final score, 4-1. Winner, New York. Miami versus New York City. Plays of the game were Tony Murtaugh for Inter Miami and Aston Barr for New York. 5v5 games. Game 3, final score, 8-1. to one. Winner, New York. New York versus Orlando. Plays of the game were Naima Zamora for New York and Rashad Barr for Orlando City. Game 4, New York versus Miami. New York won with a score of 4-3. Plays of the game were Jachi Martinez for New York City and Elijah St. Stern for Inter Miami. See you at the next one, Patriots. Hey, guys, and welcome back to Patriot on the Go. I'm Nia Seymour. Today's question is, who's your favorite cartoon character and why? Now let's see what our peers have to say about today's question. Hi, what's your name? Imari. Hi, Imari. So who's your favorite cartoon character and why? Spongebob because he's funny and energetic. Wow, I really like Spongebob too. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Tyler. Hi, Tyler. So who's your favorite cartoon character and why? Spongebob because he's like so goofy and so chill. Okay, a lot of people say Spongebob. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Ramaya. 
Hi, Maya. So who's your favorite cartoon character and why? Um, probably Olaf because like, he's really fun and energetic. Okay, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Jeremiah. Hi, Jeremiah. So who's your favorite cartoon character and why? Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Why do you say that? Because he's funny. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Derek. Hi, Derek. So who's your favorite cartoon character and why? Uh, Simon because he's smart. Okay, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Sabian. Hi, Sabian. So who's your favorite cartoon character and why? Theodore from Alvin and Chipmunks. Why do you say Theodore? Because he's funny and he's chunky. Okay, I think he's really fun too. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys for all your wonderful answers. See you next time on Patriot on the Go. Thanks, Nia. Awesome responses, Patriots. Today's weather is 72 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. It's a good day to stroll around. In other weather news, a species that all scientists thought was extinct was found. A dog actually dug up the mold when he smelled something in the hole. This mold was lost in 1936. The species was identified as the D. Winton's golden mold. It's so cool that this small mold is being brought back to science. What an amazing discovery. Now let's go to Jail for today's birthdays. Thank you, Jaceleen. Today's birthday boys and girls are Kavari Broom, Alexander Dorville, Natalia La Rosa, and Aiden Sierras. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Hadassah. Thank you, Jael. Patriots, here are PAX Expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Nelson, Ms. Dinkwa, Ms. M. Williams, Ms. Stone, and Ms. Sands for getting the correct answer to the daily challenge, which was how many animals are hiding in the photo? The correct answer was 12. Today's daily challenge is... Daily Challenge! Who painted the Mona Lisa? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the next morning announcements. Everyone here at RPTV would like to wish you all a Tinsel Thursday. Have a jolly day!